Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27 and in this video I'm going to show you how to charge credit cards, process refunds, and put charges on hold using our Stripe integration. The first thing you want to do is go to the Charge Customers page by hovering over this credit card icon here and clicking on Charge Customers. When you get to this page, it's going to default to today's date and list all the bookings you have to charge. Now, I have one booking here that is for $134, so I can charge it by clicking Charge and just confirming OK. When the charge has been successfully made, we're going to receive a transaction ID from Stripe. Here it is right here. And if you ever need to, you can search for that ID in your Stripe account when you log in there. If you ever need to do some sort of auditing or just to um, check things to make sure that they're OK, you can see everything that you see in Launch27 in your Stripe account. The next thing I want to do is show you how to refund this. You can just go here, refund. If you want to do a partial refund, you can do that. Just enter any amount that's smaller than the original. So if I want to do 50 bucks, I can do that. Just like that. And here you see that there's going to be uh, a leftover balance on the original charge. You can refund that entire rest of that amount. What you cannot do is refund more than that balance. So if I put in 100 bucks, the system is going to complain that it has to be equal to the, the um, existing balance or less. So move that back, refund, and now you see it's all gone. So um, one little thing I want to show you is that if you ever do refund a booking, right, for whatever reason, and you still see an amount here that needs to be charged, that's because your booking, if for some reason, it needs to be set so that the customer doesn't owe you something. You need to go back and edit your booking and change the amount down to zero or cancel the booking or however it is, whatever happened in real life, that's what you got to do. Um, so, all right, back to the subject. Uh, if you ever need to do a partial charge, you can do the same thing here. Just change this amount to whatever amount you want to charge them and it'll do it for you. Next thing I want to do is talk about putting charges on hold. And the reason why you want to do that is because it'll make sure that the customer actually has enough funds on their credit card to pay you. Um, last thing you want to do is go out, do a job, come back, and then try to charge that card and realize that they can't pay you. And now you're left trying to chase the customer down for your money. So what this does is it'll pre-authorize a charge on the customer's card for the amount of the booking. And that'll show up on their on their um, their bank statement or their credit card statement as uh, a pending charge. So click on put on hold. Now you'll see a, tr a new transaction ID that says that the hold is in place. So if for whatever reason you need to uh, remove that hold because the customer canceled or whatever, it's a free cleaning. I don't know. So you can just release the hold like that. It goes away. Here you see this button come back if you need to do it again. Um, if you don't release the hold like that, it will go away automatically by itself after several days. I think a lot of banks, it's about seven business days. Um, but we recommend that you just release it. It's just a lot cleaner that way. That way you don't get any angry emails from customers about why you haven't released the hold yet. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at launch27.com. Thanks.